Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be teaching you how to present the results, okay, and how to discuss the findings of your study. I assume you are currently writing your research paper, your thesis, if you are college student or if you are a senior high school student. I know it is really stressful, that is why I created this video. Okay, so let's begin. At the end of this lesson or at the end of this video you shall be able to understand how to interpret and present research results and how to discuss them okay next you are going to discover the order of things in presenting results so in here i'll be teaching you which comes first okay specifically in the chronological order into the order of things in your presentation next one you are going to determine the important details okay the important information they have to consider in presenting your results all right so let's begin i assume you already have your results so nakuha niyo na lahat ng survey questionnaires na fill out niyo sa inyong mga respondents sa inyong sample and with that you have to summarize na okay ilista mo na lahat kung halimbawa yung SOP number 1, ito yung results sa questionnaires ninyo. So, meron ka nang dapat rough na a draft, rather, ng results sa'yo. Okay? Now, after that, lalagyan mo na siya or ilalagay mo na siya using a table. And how should you do that? For example, look at my slide. My first statement of the problem is, what are the common jobs taken by senior high school students in District 5? That is my SOP number one. So imagine that my SOP, meron akong questionnaires na tinatanong kung ano yung mga common jobs nila. Eh syempre, bago ako gumawa ng table na to, nilista ko na lahat or sinamarize ko na kung ano yung mga common responses or common na job na binilugan or nasinagot ng mga respondents ko. So as you can see in my table, meron akong um, summarize na of result. So, as you can see, meron akong waiting tables or yung nag-waiter, waitress, service crew, or yung nagtatrabaho sa bahay or kasam bahay. Meron akong naglilipat bahay, naglilipat gamit, at yung laundry washer or yung dishwasher. Ganun. At marami pang iba. Okay. After doing, after doing that, you are now going to discuss the result. Okay. But sir, the question is, How should I discuss this table? Oh, in addition pala sa table, you can also use bar graph or a pie chart. Depende which graph, okay, which figure applies or in discussing your result. Nakadepende yun sa inyo. At nakadepende yun sa tanong sa SOP ninyo. Okay, kung bar graph man gagamitin ko or pie chart ang applicable. Okay, so after summarizing the result, okay, of your questionnaires, Mm -hmm. to answer your SOP number one or number two or number three or for that matter, you are now going to describe it. How? You're going to describe. <clears throat> As you can see, meron, um, in my table, nirank ko siya. So, ang pinakamataas, yung pinakamarami, hanggang sa pinaka least. Okay? So, the first one, meron, um, from the total of 19 respondents, I have seven students who are working as service crews. Meaning, yung nagtatabaw sa fa mga fast food chain. Okay? Um, apat sa 19 na respondents ko are movers. Okay? Or yung uh, naglilipat bahay, naglilipat gamit ng bahay. And three, uh, yung mga na nagkakasambahay at yung naglalabandera or naglalabandero. And yung other jobs, for example, kumboy or yung nagbibenta sa palengke o nag-online seller or ganun or what not. Okay? So as you can see, um, binase ko yung mga numbers na to, okay, yung percentage, doon sa kung ilan yung respondents ko. Kasi nga, ang gusto kong malaman, alin ba sa mga 19 na working students ang trabaho nila para masagot yung tanong na ano yung common jobs nila. Okay, so there, niligyan ko sila ng mga numero. Paano, saan nang galing? Ito po yung, siyempre, binilang ko kung ilan yung nagtatrabaho as a service crew, ilan yung nagkakasambahay, ganun siya. Kaya, 7 ang 
um, service crew, tatlong kasambahay, ganun siya. Okay? So, meron na akong datos. Yan ay tinatawag nating result. Ngayon, you are going to describe that using, of course, um, a chronological order. It depends sa inyo kung paano mo sisimulan yun. Maaaring sabihin mo, as, as presented in Table 1, 7 or 36% of the total respondents are, ayan, i-describe mo na, second common job taken by senior high school working students in District 5 are, ayan, so dinidescribe mo na, dinidiscuss mo na. Okay? And after you describe what's in your table, you are now going to support that result or these results with related literatures. Okay? Now, I would like you to look closely to the next slide. Okay? If you have a very slow internet or kung mababa yung antas ng data mo, okay, yung mobile data mo or data mo, hindi clear, okay, ang video na to. Pero kapag malakas yung internet mo, malinaw ito, okay? Because I received some comments minsan na, Sir, hindi nakikita yung presentation. Well, yung internet nyo po ang may problema, hindi po yung presentation ko. Okay, i-adjust mo muna, i-post mo muna yung video, tapos tsaka mo siya i-play. Ganun, para makita mo ng maayos yung mga words, mga paragraph sa aking slide. Okay, let's continue. As you can see, ito na yung sinasabi kong table. Okay, ito siya. But before I present the table, of course, describe ko muna. Nagbigay muna ako ng context. Okay, pag, pag sinabi mo context, ano yung tungkol saan yung result na yan? Okay, di ba? Ang sabi ko kanina, my first statement of the problem is the common part-time jobs of senior high school students in District 5. So, it is natural, okay, to create or write a short description, okay, or a discussion about part-time jobs because that is my first SOP, okay? So, dito, as you can see, I describe what is a part-time job and then, nagkaroon ako ng sentence, okay, to lead in the result. When you say lead in, para ma-connect ako, alright, yung result, para smooth yung transition ng discussion ko. So there, dinescribe ko ang part-time jobs, tapos, as you can see, as presented in Table 3, ayan, so dito, dinescribe ko na yung result. Okay. There, as you can see in the slide, um, Waiting tables are 7 students or 36% of the total respondents. This explains that many working students are waiters or service crews. There, dinidiscuss ko na yung result. Pre-present ko na siya. Second in the list of common jobs by working students in is house movers with 21% of the total research population. See? So, dinidiscuss ko na yung result. Okay, hindi ko lang siya basta nilagay. Hanggang sa matapos yung result mo, or I mean, hanggang sa madiscuss mo lahat yung result. Okay? This means that out of 19 respondents, 3 students are working as laundry washers and housekeepers. The remaining 11% or 2 of the respondents are involved in selling at a local market. Kasi yun yung other score. Okay? Now, after presenting the table, hindi yun yung dulo, okay, ng pagpapresent ng result. You, holds, you also have to make sure to um, relate the result to other studies. Let's say, you have to make sense, okay, of your results. Eh, no, ngayon kung yan yung result, okay? Or may kapareho bang result yung, yung study mo, mm -hmm. yung findings nyo. Diyan na papasok yung related literatures. Eh, bakit ba mahalaga natin i-relate yung ibang studies? Of course, to prove that... Um, let's say, kung yung study mo ay, is proving a uh, theory or an experience or something or, or a knowledge, of course, dyan papasok yung importance ng related literature. Or, um, para mas kapanipaniwala, okay, yung magiging result mo, you have to support it with other details or other related literatures. As you can see in my slide, it is evident that waiting tables, ayan siya. So, ibig sabihin, ang sinasabi ko dito ay prove ko na ang common na working job ng mga high school students 
ay yung pagsaservice crew o yung pagiging waiter, waitress sa isang kainan, restaurant or fast food chain man yan. As you can see, which agrees with the findings of, ayan siya. So yung result na working students ng District 5 ay service crew, nire-relate ko na siya sa ibang studies which have the same result. Okay, as you can see, um, work, according to Working Student 2016, okay, cited in OT the 2023, uh, the job of working students, okay, is service screens fast food chain. Ayan siya. Pero sir, ano yung OT the 2023? Uh, working Student 2016 cited in OT the 2023. What I mean, or we usually do that, if ako, na researcher, ay hindi ko mismong nakita na basa yung sinabi ni Working Student 2016. Bagkus, sa halip, nakita ko siya sa sulat ni Autida 2023. Okay, kumbaga, um, nung binabasa ko yung trabaho ni Autida, yung research ni Autida, nabasa ko yung sinabi ni Working Student 2016. Ngayon, Karapat dapat lang that I have to cite, okay, Working Student 2016, dahil sa kanya yung original na idea, which nabasa ko naman, okay, sa libro or sa research ni Autida 2023. Okay, bakit hindi na lang si Autida? Well, kasi nga, si Knight, hindi naman our own idea ni Autida 2023 yon kundi kinuha niya lang din yung idea ni working student so dapat isight ko sila pareho okay pero kung gusto kung hindi ko na dapat kung ayaw kong isight si Autida i have to look for yung ginawa ni working student 2016 para hindi ko nabanggitin si Autida pero since um pagod na ako maghanap ng related literature at para mas maayos na rin isight ko na lang silang pareho dalawa Okay, ayan siya. So, by citing the work of Working Student 2016 through the research of IDEA 2023, dyan ko na ni kung bakit, okay, kung bakit working student sa mga fast food chain or waiting tables sa mga restaurants ang common job ng mga working students. Ganun siya. Now, your turn. But before you do that, Balikan muna natin ang gagawin natin. First, anong gagawin natin? You have to summarize. You have to come up with um, an outline or a summary of your results. Okay? After, meron ka ng summary sa mga sagot in every questionnaire for each of your SOPs. Ready ka na to start with your description, your presentation, and discussion. Okay. You can present through a table, a bar graph, a pie chart, or whatsoever that you think is the most applicable way in presenting. Okay? There. And it also depends in your SOP. Kung kailan mo bang i-rank yung result? Okay. So here, you are going to present the table. Of course, i-describe mo muna ano yung mga nasa table. Okay? Afterwards, pag-present mo na kung ano yung mga tables. Okay? Um, you have now um, the opportunity or it's now time for you to relate your result to other studies. Okay? Either um, to agree with the findings of other studies or to debunk the ideas or the results of other studies. Alright, so there. I hope na I was able to help you in presenting your results and discussion for your thesis or your for for your research paper okay and before i end a special shout out to miss lindsay because she reminded me to do this one so yeah i'm doing this for you guys and i hope that i was able to help you all right so there thank you and i hope you find this video helpful bye bye